Hey guys, welcome to The Minimalist Plan. My name is Birk. I am Sara and this is Lazy. We have to... <laughs> and today we're gonna go uh, for a van tour of our van. Uh, we've been living in it for six months and uh, it's a new layout, so check it out. So this is the van. It's a 2017 uh, Peugeot Boxer. It's a super good van. The reason why we chose this van is because uh, it looks like a regular van. Uh, we tinted the windows on the side and in the back. We also wanted it compact and this is not longer than 6.35 so we can get into uh, parking lots. So on top here we installed something that catches the rain so it doesn't drip into the van. It runs out on the side and down in the middle here. The reason why we chose a cargo van is so that uh, you can build it in the form that you want. So we built it around our surfboards and our needs. And uh, it's the tallest version. So this is pretty tall compared to other vans. It's 219 from the floor and all the way up. Uh, and also, if we close off the van, it looks like a regular cargo van. So it doesn't really look like it's a camper van. If you don't look on the top where we have our ventilation system, it's nice to be able to stealth camp. All right, so this is the entrance we use most of the time. It's a little bit different than other vans or campers or whatever, because these two seats usually are over here, but we wanted to opt for a little bit different type of situation. So if you invite people in, they can just sit their ass straight in here and they don't have to go through the whole van to get to where they have to sit. And it's nice to also be able to use it, uh, the van for not only us, but we can also bring other people with us. We can also put a hammock in if we need to, or we have a tent if there are two of them. So when we're driving, Lacey sits here, and this is her seatbelt. Uh, under these seats, we have storage for shoes. So I can show you underneath here. So this is our shoe storage. Uh, there's a lot of shoes in here. So we built this out of uh, pallet wood, all of this, and a lot of other stuff as well, because we wanted to try to use a little bit secondhand material. Over here, we have, I don't know what the English word is, but you- Smack the flies. Smack the flies. <laughs> and this is essential when you live in a van, because there's so many flies, if you leave the door open like we usually do. Then we have the curtains, these act as blackout on one side, so it doesn't look like it's a van. So it still looks like a cargo van. And we wanted something more, more nice on the inside. And then we have our swivel seats. And the reason why we wanted to go with that is so then you can sit six people in here. This is a miniature us. This is Sarah. This is me. Uh, Dan made this for us. Super nice to have if you're traveling in a van. Pop sockets and you can just put them in there. And then we have some short cables so you can connect up your phone when you're traveling so you can use your Google Maps. So we have the boots here. Uh, really love these boots because you can use them for hiking for when it's wet and everything. So they're usually there. And we have our axe hanging here in case of uh, a fire or making a fire. <laughs> <laughs> then we have storage underneath here. We built this up so that it's more comfortable when we sit in these seats because if not, it would be too far down to the ground. So underneath here, we have all of the stuff for lacy food, uh, treats, and we also have some more stuff in under here and then we have more stuff in under here. And here we have our workout bag. So we have rings, we have ropes. We usually hang these up here. We hang these up here or inside, so in the, in the ceiling. And then we work out if it's bad weather outside. We have been working out inside. It's a little bit cramped, but it will do. Here we have a gas and CO2 alarm. I would recommend two. One that's on your main battery and one that's just on a 9 volt battery because then you have two securities. 
Uh, next we have the lagoon mount which I really love because then you can get this out here and you can sit three to four people and eat at this table here. And then we have storage underneath here. And we have the water, we have dog food, we have the drill, we have extra food. And here we have our plant Alfonso. Alfonso is thriving in the van. He's growing all over the place. We have some uh, pictures from our wedding day. Here we have a security camera that we can switch on whenever we are away from the van. This camera has a view over the side door. So if there is any activity, Birk will get a notification on his phone. It's nice to have. Okay, let me show you what we have on this shelf over the front seats. So the camera equipment, our games, card games and board games and stuff like that. Here we have some, uh, uh, some painting equipment and mostly just warm clothes. Yeah. And in this one, it's a lot of like medical stuff, medical equipment, razors, pills, band-aids, a lot of stuff. My mom is a nurse, so half of it is from my mom. Sounds like we're gonna have a surgery. <laughs> here we have our shelf and our uh, speaker. In here we have a place where we can charge our electrical stuff and... Uh, Miscellaneous stuff like yeah. cables and... GoPro. Go GoPro, yeah. Here we have my wedding bouquet it's all dried flowers i really wanted it to be a part of the van here we have our fairy lights uh, we really enjoy this because it makes it really cozy we have them connected to a usb outlet here we also have our router which gets uh, so we can have internet in the van we've seen a lot of other van lifers getting busted into so we didn't just want to have the one security we also make uh, this lock that goes through here so that they have to get through two layers of security and also the camera so hopefully it's not gonna happen but you never know sarah and her mom made really pleased about this this is wool and it's also blackout nobody can see in when it's getting uh, darker and you just open this and there's magnets so that it goes down and covers the whole thing so we have to see to lacy because she just rolled herself in shit <laughs> and we cannot have her in the van. So I'm gonna give her water outside and we're gonna go to the beach afterwards. So when I'm not wearing hat. So when I'm not wearing hat. Smooth baby. Uh, this is where we keep it, the hats and the caps. Uh, we also have the dimmer. So this is super nice. You can dim the lights down and up. We put our jackets behind the seat here. The jackets that we use, we hang here. So we have rain jackets and we have the regular jackets. And we also have our umbrellas. In this closet, we have clothes. So I have my stuff here. Pretty even with the closet space, I would say. You yeah. think? Yeah. Then we have a mirror right here, so you can check out uh, how we look. Usually don't use that too much these days, but... Uh, and then we have the fan, which is awesome when it's hot like now. Just open it up and then it pulls the air out. And we usually open the one in the back as well, so we get some breeze through. We built up the floor, as you can see here. So we have storage for longer things. We usually bring with us longboards, surf longboards, which are 9.6. So we can get a 9.6 surfboard in here. And you can see I can stand tall, well, not with the hat. I can stand tall here. So that's the reason for having the tall van because you have more 3D uh, space to work in. So here we have the urinal. This we use a lot. This is a lifesaver because then we can pee wherever we want. Sarah has managed a technique to use this as well. So we're usually either inside the shower or just here, depends on where we are. Then we have our webasto coming out here and here. So we split it up, uh, the stream, so we can either have only on this one or both on that and this, or only that one. If we choose this, then it's just gonna come out here. If we choose this, then it's gonna heat the water as well, because we have a Truma water heater. You can either use on 230 volts or use uh, the diesel heater to heat up the water, which is really nice. 
Then we have a shower right here and uh, we built that down. So when I go into the shower, it's a step down and I'm 190 tall. So it's possible for me to shower here. We have a fan on the top, a light, and I usually just put this up here and then take a shower like this. We have our shower stuff. This door is a Nautilus door, which is, I love this door. I can't speak highly enough about it because it cleans itself. It doesn't take a lot of space. On the side here, we have some surf ponchos that we use when we change out from the wetsuit and into, into other, the nude. Into the nude or other clothes. Here we have a lot of our electrical applications. So this is the Victron, so you can see how much power we consumed and how much power we have in the batteries. Here we have our Truma water heater, which we can turn on with 230 volts. That is actually 300 watts. So if you want to have one of these, you need an inverter that at least is 300 watts. Uh, we have one on 2000 watts because we want to use the water heater as water boiler as well. Over here we have the splitter for the Vobasto. So either it goes into the shower and heats up the water or it goes into the main or a mix of those. This is the Vobasto, we can turn it on. It's super simple, works super well. Over here we have our USB outlets. We have a 12 volt outlet. We have lights, light in the shower. We have a fan in the shower. We have the water pump here and a spare one here. So we usually store our telephones and charge them in here at night. And then we have some books and stuff that we use to write in. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we have down here. Down here we have the night light that we can switch on from the bed. So that's really practical. We have our own compartment to, for the dirty clothes. Really handy to have. Here we have our 12 volt refrigerator, which is also with a little freezer. So this is the bed. We had to maximize the space because Birk is quite tall. So what we did is that we built the bed to fit right into the wall. We are able to pull the bed out as you probably have seen, but to be able to do that, we had to cut the mattress in three. So we have like this big mattress, mattress part in the middle. But over here we have, it's the same on both sides. And to maximize the space for storage, we also have like secret compartments down here. This we have on both sides. One, two, three, four. Four small compartments. Here we have all of our clothes. This is uh, Birk's closet and mine. Everything has its own place or else I would not know where I have my stuff. Inside here we are able to charge with USB and also to be able to charge with 230 volts. So that's really practical. My computer lives in here and we have a little speaker for the computer as well so that we can have like a little cinematic uh, experience <laughs> in bed as well. We are quite paranoid people, so if uh, we hear somebody try to break into the van, we haven't used it yet, but then we can use this. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Are you crazy? We're able to lock the door here as well. In the bed, we also have a little table. We can have our morning coffee or evening tea or the computer when we're watching a movie. It's really handy. These curtains are the same curtains as we have in the front. So this is wool. This is also blacking out everything, but we wanted it a little bit more cozy. So we have the green in front here. The guitar we wanted to bring with us, but we didn't know where to store it. But in the ceiling was a good idea, we think. So we also have a roof vent over the bed. We can open it almost completely or we can have it in another mode if you want to do that. We can black it completely out or we can just have it so that the bugs doesn't bother us at night. So here we have the kitchen. We have been uh, figuring stuff out along the way when we're traveling this half, half this year. 
blah, 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 blah. We figured some stuff out when we've been traveling half this year. So the first thing is it's really nice to have something like this. We bought this actually from Ikea. Super nice to have all your greens and vegetables in. Ooh, if it's running away. On the top here, we have tea, we have coffee, we have olive oil, we have our little Christmas tree because right now it's the 4th of December, I think. So we needed a little bit of a Christmas kind of vibe in here. Over here in the back, we have the spice rack. Then this is something that we really enjoyed making. This is uh, mahogany. We opted for this here on the tables and also on this shelf. It's so nice and red and I love this kitchen bench. Uh, underneath here we have our sink. We had to modify these a little bit to get the sink in because it's a little bit big. So this width here is 40 centimeters. We have our faucet here. And we also have space here for the kitchen. So. If we're both here, I can stand over here and work and then Sarah can prep food over here, which works very well. And over here we have, have our Tetford uh, double burner. This is super nice, super good to clean because it's glass. Well, they work great, so I would highly recommend these. So for the kitchen drawers and everything here, we went for IKEA because it's just easier. So we went for the 40 deep so we have enough space to go through here past the, the seats if we would gone with 60 there would be no space to move the reason why we went with ikea is there's so many drawers and if you ever made a drawer it takes a long time to make so in our van build course that we have a link to up here you can check out uh, we use this technique with buying ikea and putting it into the van so you don't have to use that much time to build. And then you have the roller catcher on both sides. So when you push this in, it locks in place. So when you're driving, this is not gonna come out. So in our van building course, we use this way of building because then you don't have to build all of the furniture yourself and it's gonna be looking really good afterwards. So on the end here, we have our computer on the bottom so we can bring that out when we're gonna do the editing and over here we have our trash so we have our kitchen cleanup stuff and we have our toiletry stuff right here the rest is food the rest here is food yeah okay so now we're in the back first thing we put up is these that that's from ikea and here we have all of our fins for the surfboard wax all kinds of surf equipment and down here we have storage so on the top here we have our backpacks uh, camping gear inside here this is our water tank 105 liters and this is our gauge so we can see how much water we have this is really practical because this lays over the wheel well so it doesn't take that much space into your storage area back here we have two lithium ion batteries we have uh, the busto this is where the fridge lives and as you can see all the way in here this is where our longboards go so we have two longboards here and we have three short boards on this side and then we also have our skateboards yoga mats table and we have some other wetsuits gear and stuff that we pulled out now so we can film now we're gonna take out the bed so these telescope sliders take 220 kilos so me and Sarah can stay in the bed while it's out. So if it's windy, you can have up the door like this. So you kind of have something for the wind so it doesn't blow straight through. And then you can stay in the sun or under the sauce if you wish to do that. Would you like to build a van with this kind of layout? If you were to build a van? If you want to build a van, <laughs> if you have a van you would like to build, would you like this layout? <laughs> <laughs> would you? Oh, please let us know in the comments, yes. 
<laughs> if you're interested to watch some other van tours with the same kind of bed principle that we have in our van here, check out these videos. So if you want to build your own van, we have a van building course right here uh, online. So check that out. <laughs> okay, so subscribe, like, share the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. <laughs>